2023 is going to be a tough year for trucking companies. Some trucking companies this year are definitely going to fold. Here are five signs that you can watch for as a driver that may indicate to you that your carrier is in financial trouble. This video is sponsored by DriveWise. Number one, you're having trouble with the company fuel card. When a carrier gets in financial trouble and they start being slow on paying their bills, one of the first companies to notice are the oil companies. Oil companies keep really close track of their carrier customers because they know that fuel bills for trucking companies can add up pretty quickly. Oil companies don't like to be burned. Fuel companies don't like to be burned. They monitor their carriers very closely. And when there are signs of financial stress, one of the first things they do is to start shutting off fuel cards or cutting back on the amount of fuel allowed on the fuel cards. So if you're having trouble with your company fuel card, chances are it's the oil company starting to shut down fuel to the carrier. Number two, you notice suddenly that you're having trouble getting road calls and service calls. You've been on the shoulder waiting for a service truck to come fix a flat tire or repair the truck, and usually that takes a little time. But suddenly it's taking hours and hours and hours. Sometimes they may not even come at all. Or you talk to the carrier and they say, well, see if you can't limp it into the closest shop and uh, you pay for it because we don't have an account and uh, we'll reimburse you. Never, never, never do that. Never pay to fix the company's equipment on your dime. Or you're at a terminal somewhere and you're picking up a company trailer that you've been assigned and you've done your circle check and you find that the uh, trailer doesn't really pass the safety check, your circle check. You want a couple of new tires. So you go into the office and say, I want to pull it into the shop, get a couple of new tires hung, they don't look good to me. And the carrier goes, ah, oh, no, they'll be okay for this trip. Uh, just run it and uh, we'll do it at some other time. But no, you're good to go. That's a sign that the carrier is cheaping out on equipment, cheaping out on repairs. Trailer tires are usually one of the first signs that they're cheaping out. And if they're cheaping out on their trailer tires, what else are they cheaping out on? Number three, there are delays in your pay. Now it used to be when you're with this carrier that if payday fell on a Saturday, for instance, they would pay you Friday. So you had money for the weekend. Now all of a sudden, if payday falls on a Saturday or a Sunday, sometimes you don't get your pay until last thing Monday or maybe even Tuesday. That's a sign that the carrier's in financial trouble. Or you're having trouble getting cash advances or, or float money for tolls or lumpers. That changes. Any change in the way that the carrier has been doing their financial business, any changes in that indicates a problem because what's worked for them for years, all of a sudden they're changing that. That's suspicious. They're having cash flow trouble. That's a sign that they're probably in trouble. One of the most stressful parts of any truck driver's day is getting pulled into the way station. DriveWise helps eliminate that stress with their scale bypass technology. DriveWise works on all ELDs and all smartphones, check them out at drivewise.com. Number four, suddenly there's an exodus of top senior truck drivers and some of the best dispatchers. Now, often if a company is in financial stress, that will dribble down from the upper management into a couple of the top dispatchers because they've been there for years and the top dispatchers don't want to get caught without a paycheck but they'll pass that on to a few of their senior drivers. Drivers that they've, they've worked with for years, drivers they know and they trust, and they both made good money at that carrier. The driver doesn't want to lose that dispatcher because the dispatcher takes care of them. The dispatcher goes to one of his top drivers or two of his top drivers and says, start shopping around. I'm going to carrier XYZ because I don't like what I hear coming from upstairs. You might want to follow me to carrier XYZ because I know they're financially stable. And all of a sudden you notice that one or two of the top dispatchers are gone and a few of the senior drivers have left. And senior drivers often follow the really good dispatchers. So there's another sign that your carrier's in trouble. Number five, all of a sudden there's confusion out of dispatch. A couple of the top dispatchers have left. They've got guys filling in for them and suddenly there's all sorts of confusion when there never used to be. Drivers that are supposed to be off duty are getting called in to cover 
uncovered loads. Your regular run all of a sudden has been changed. They're missing things. They're forgetting trailers. There's just mass confusion because all of a sudden the whole system is broken. And truck drivers will notice this right away. And all of a sudden truck drivers will start to smell trouble and they'll start to leave in mass exodus. All of a sudden there's going to be a turnover 10 or 20 or 30 drivers missing in the pool. You'll see more trucks parked in the yard than usual. That's a sign that your carrier is running into trouble because all these drivers have gotten wind of it and they're bailing. As a professional driver, it's part of your duty. The onus is on you to protect yourself and you need to keep track to a certain extent of your carrier's financial stability because it will affect you in the long run if something goes wrong, particularly if you're an owner operator or a lease operator because you've got money invested in this deal. And if something goes south, you don't want to lose your money. So keep your ear to the ground. Watch what's going on around you. Again, the onus is on you to take care of yourself as a driver because generally nobody else will. And there's been some big carriers that have gone down and left thousands and thousands of drivers stranded. You don't want to be caught in that group like the drivers for Aero or Celadon or Consolidated Freightways. There were thousands of those guys that lost money in those deals. You don't want to be in that group. Keep your ear to the ground, as I say. Protect yourself. It's part of your duty as a professional driver. Stay safe. 2023 is going to be a tough year for trucking companies. It's in your best interest to keep an eye on things around you to make sure you don't get stiffed. Keep the rubber side down. I'll see you on the backhaul.